Polygons. So I uh, ran into a pirate the other day and uh, noticed he didn't have a parrot on his shoulder. And I said, uh, hey, mate, pointed at his shoulder and said, where's your polygon? Terrible joke, um, but there's not a lot of math jokes. So you just make do with what you've got. So they are, first of all, they're two-dimensional shapes. They have straight sides, and we name them by how many sides they have. So, for example, this is a polygon. We know it also as a triangle. We use the prefix tri, T-R-I, because that represents three. Here's another one uh, you've probably seen, quadrilateral. Quad, meaning four, because it's got four sides, but they're both polygons. They're both two-dimensional shapes with straight sides. They can, however, be broken down into convex or non-convex. Now, here's some examples of both. Convex polygons have all interior angles that are less than 180 degrees. So all these angles here on the inside, we call the interior angles, each one of them is less than 180 degrees. But in a non-convex, you're going to have at least one that is more than 180 degrees, Okay, more than a straight line. Those two are there, in fact. The diagonals on a convex polygon are all uh, meet on the inside of the polygon. However, for convex, that's not the case. This one here does not meet inside the polygon anywhere. Here's a formula that we can use to work out the angle sum for polygons. So S equals 180 times N minus 2. S just means what is the sum, or if we add all the angles on the inside, what do they come to? And N stands for the number of sides. So let's take a triangle, because that's familiar to us. We know they've got three sides, so in this case, N equals 3. So if I put that into my formula, I get S equals 180 outside of 3 minus 2, which gives me 1, so my angle sum of the triangle, which is something you've probably heard or learnt in the earlier year at school, is 180 degrees. Let's see if that works for something else. This one has six sides, so N is going to equal six. I put that into my formula, and I say, all right, then the angle sum of this polygon is 180 outside of six minus two, because that's my N minus two, 4 times 180 is 720 degrees, so all the angles on the inside of that polygon must add up to 720 degrees. Now, that allows us to answer questions where we might have an unknown. This one here, we don't know. We call it A. All the others we're given, you might be asked to work out, well, what is the angle A? Well, we've worked out that the angle sum was 720, so A is just going to equal 720, take away all those other angles, and it works out to be that the angle A is 245 degrees. This one here is also a polygon. This is a pentagon. It has five sides. So I can use my formula to work out that the angle sum of, of that uh, pentagon is, uh, using my formula, 540 degrees. Now, they're all the same. Each one of those angles is the same. So I can divide that by 5 to work out that each one of the angles inside that pentagon is 108 degrees. We've got a couple more things we can do with our polygons. I can extend these uh, sides here to what I call the exterior angles. So each one of these red dots is the exterior angle. So the interior angles were 108 the exterior angle, if I took that and just made that line straight right along the edge there and extended it out, this has to add up to 180 because this is a straight line across here and we know that the angle of a straight line is 180 degrees, so I can work out what this little red dot is. It is, in fact, 72 degrees and it's the same for all of them. Here's an interesting thing. If I add together all of those 72s, I get... 360 degrees, which leads me to this important point for a polygon. The external angles for any polygon, all polygons, will always add up to 360 degrees. So that might also be helpful if you're trying to solve a question where uh, you can, um, where you need to use that exterior angle, always adding 360. The very last thing we need to know about these polygons is that if 
uh, this one here is called a regular polygon. Now, by that we mean that the side lengths are all equal and the angles are all equal. So if you've got any polygon that fits those two uh, criteria, then we call it a regular polygon. So a square, for example, would be a regular polygon. An equilateral triangle would also be a regular polygon. That is your intro to the wonderful world of polygons.